Hey everyone. So my name is Rachel. I serve up in Maine. So, and being in Maine, honestly, I think a lot about the challenges of being a gardener in Maine. We have super early frosts. We shovel snow off garden beds to do spring lessons. <laughs> I was putting the garden to bed with a bunch of second graders and all of a sudden this girl was just like screaming, crying, and I was like, what's going on? And she was like, my hands, they're so cold. <laughs> I was like, same, like let's get out of here. And I find myself thinking like, why do I live here? <laughs> like, so, you know, I serve in Portland, so and the school I serve at is one of the most diverse in the in the district. And in each of my, we have a bunch of different other programs in our school too. So, you know, in each of my classes, I have several different languages in the garden. I have my kids, and then I have like uh, BHPs. I have sign language interpreters. I have other aides. It's like me, the kids, and the gang. <laughs> like, and. I think a lot about the challenges that these kids have and in an English speaking conventional school system, like, you know, somebody that just got into the country, they don't understand the language and they're trying to um, read, learn reading and like learn math in English. And, you know, these, these deaf kids have to like look at the teacher, look at their interpreter, look back at the teacher, like try to form relationships, you know? And these are challenges that for me, like I went to school in the country I was born in. I went to school in the country of my like native language. Like I'm never really gonna understand these challenges. You know, like I listen to my headphones. I talk, I understand. I talk too fast most of the time. And these are things that I take for granted every day. Um, and honestly, if they were gone tomorrow, I, I don't even know what I would do. I wouldn't even, um, you know, think about it. So, uh, you know, as a food core member, honestly, I find myself thinking sometimes, like when I'm in meetings that I find are like taking too long <laughs> and opening a ton of emails or like hearing about somebody else's experience and being like, am I making a difference? Like, am I even having an impact? Like, I don't know, like a lasting one. And, and then I think like, I think of these kids and my, my garden's across the street from the school. So, you know, their class is coming over and they're crossing the street and they're like leaving behind so many challenges that they face every day in that classroom. And they're walking through the gate of my garden and it's like a gateway to just like equality, to freedom, to like releasing all the barriers that they have back in that classroom, you know? like. The, the flowers, the vegetables, like they speak everyone's language. Like the hearing impaired, like barriers are gone because they can smell and experience just like everybody else. I, um, there was a day I was, I was pulling potatoes with second graders and I noticed there was a girl, she was kind of like hanging in the back, like not really involved. And the teacher was like, this is her first day and she doesn't speak a word of English. Like she just got into the country, you know? And so I was like, all right. So I walked over to her and I just kind of like pointed at a plant and like we pulled it up and like out came like eight tubers and we were like, <laughs> you know, and I was excited. <laughs> and she was excited. <laughs> and you know, she sh like she was like she was a different kid with that smile on her face, you know, and then she was able to engage with the other kids, like kind of just like keep pulling them up like rapidly. <laughs> and um you know, without that space, like she, like we wouldn't be able to like have that moment together. Like we wouldn't be able to like connect together. It didn't matter if the kid she was pulling t potatoes up with knew anything she was saying. Didn't matter if she didn't know what they were saying, but like in that moment they were connected. And you know, as far as my like hearing impaired and deaf kids, like they come into the garden. I had this one kid, he stated at the beginning, I do not like any vegetables. <laughs> I do not like any fruits and I don't like gardening. <laughs> and this is in his interpreter telling me while he stands there like, mm. <laughs> like okay, all right. <laughs> so he comes out to the garden with us. Um, and we're, we like, we started the series with like a scavenger hunt of like use your senses. And this kid, he was just like, feeling the leaves of like the eggplants. He was like seeing broccoli like growing and snapping it off, like pulling up the carrot. Like he, in that, and he was like encouraging others, like like grabbing other kids and being like, touch this, feel this, like look what I just found, you know? Like 
And like that day, like he was the star of my class. He was the leader of his group. And how, how often does he get to be the star of the class, you know? Like, and so, you know, like, um, being a, like a food course service member, like these, these alternative learning spaces that like we're able to provide, like that we have the time and like the lessons and the resources to provide, like when I have my moments of doubt, like when I have like these, like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, I, I think of those kids, like, and I think of like the challenges they face and like the opportunities that like I'm able to give them and that like the experiences they're able to give me, like, so, you know, I think that every kid like deserves the chance to like be outside, to like be able to like touch and feel like every, we all come from so many different paths. We're all from so many different countries. Like, so, like we have barriers that are seen and we have some that aren't seen that we're like out here just facing on our own. Like, and without, without people like us, like without food tour members and other like alternative learning means, like those kids don't get the chance to shine. Like they're they're faced against each other by test scores and like in these conventional learning spaces. So in those moments, so like I'm in a meeting and I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I think of those kids and I, I think that everyone has like, has the right to an experience in like putting their hands in the dirt, healthy food to keep them exploring, like no matter like where they come from, like no matter what they have at home and like wherever they're going, so. Yeah.